Welcome back to Backyard Science. Welcome back to Backyard Science. Today we have five really cool bottle experiments. They're gonna pop, fly, explode, and everything. So with that said, let's get on with our first bottle experiment. All right, so the first experiment we're gonna do is the pop cap. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take an old water bottle, you're gonna find a nice spot right in the middle, and you're gonna twist, and you're gonna twist, and you're gonna twist. Still continue twisting, still. Okay, so once it's really tight, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bottle, and you need to target. So we're gonna be using <laughs> no. a couch. Okay, so you're gonna take it, and you're gonna barely unscrew, and then you're gonna and that's how that Woo! works. And then you're gonna. That's a pretty cool one. Who's loud? Gunshot bottle. So number two, we have the water tornado. Okay. H hand me, hand me the tape, Mister. Thank you. So you're gonna be needing two water bottles, one full and one empty, and some duct tape. This is painter's tape because we couldn't find duct tape, but it still works. So what you're gonna do? Take off your cap and take it away, sir. And then you're gonna try to balance one on here. And then you're gonna tape this the best you can. Yeah, that's nice and taped. Now, once you have done that, you're gonna flip it over like an uh, hour clock. I didn't see the tornado. I didn't <laughs> so our first attempt didn't work, so we're gonna try it like starting a little one right here. Ready. Okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. So another thing you can do with our water tornadoes is this. If you spin and then dump, it's faster than if you just dump. So if you're trying to empty like a big can or something, spin it. So we're gonna see a contest. Ready, three, two, one, go. Done, done. I guess that does work. Faster. For our third experiment, I really like this one. Um, it's called Cloud in a Bottle. You're gonna need a two liter big bottle of Coke. Well, there's no Coke in it anymore. We drank it all. And then you are going to take the cap off and you're going to put a little hole in the top with your power drill. All right, so once you get your... It's through, it's through! using parental supervision because I'm not sure what just happened but we're just gonna leave that be but so when you have your hole in your cap of your you know put some some rubbing alcohol in this bottle you're just gonna put a little bit in there <laughs> just about so those little like little holes like cups at the bottom are filled up so what you're gonna do Hold your finger over the top and make sure that alcohol is all over the entire bottle. So you're gonna need your air compressor and you're gonna... <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bottle and you're gonna take your air compressor and make sure it's all the way in. So you don't let any out. Do a couple, take it out. It's it's all really like gray and cloudy. And then it look, at this. Like there's a look at this. And there's a bunch of smoke. That's awesome. So and you can again. do this several times yeah, without, it, without running out of fuel. Look, look again, it's all cloudy. So look, look, it like changes colors. Look. Fuck it. Next up, project four. All right guys, so this is our fourth experiment. This one is a prank slash science experiment. Um, so what you're gonna be needing is a bottle and some thumbtacks. You're gonna hold this very, very gently because you're gonna put some holes in it, like four, but if you squeeze it, it will shoot out some water. And that's just a tiny bit of leakage, it's okay. Ah! Delightful. The reason why the water's not coming out right now is because the cap is on, but if you were to take it off, it would, it would shoot all the water out in all the different directions. Hey, try this. Dude! <laughs> you got pranked! <laughs> so if you give it to a person with like a really strong grip and they grab it, <laughs> that happens. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Alright, on to experiment five. Alright guys, so this is our fifth experiment. The, for the grand finale. 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 Yeah, sure. Finale. And so what we're gonna be needing is a bottle. Leave like a tiny bit of water in there. And we're gonna be making a bottle rocket. So you're gonna be needing fins, an air compressor, and some tape to put on the fins. So and you don't need fins, but we're gonna do it. Because it just helps it fly. So here we go. Okay, our little bo bottle rocket's done. It got some nice fins on to make it some better flying aerodynamic stuff. You need to put a little drill hole in the top of the bottle so you can put the air compressor in the bottle and fire. All right, so we've got our bottle, our air compressor. Stick it on in. Boom. Guys, this video was lots of fun, and this is all stuff you can do at home. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video and try it out. See you next time on Backyard Science. Peace out!